With just about a week to the swearing-in of President-elect William Ruto and his deputy, Rigadi Gashagwa, the Kenya Defense Forces troops tasked with the responsibility of steering the parade and the exchange of instruments of power continued with preparations at the Kasarani Stadium. Now, the rehearsals in military precision left nothing to chance from the parade to a mock swearing in and a march past as well, all to ensure that nothing goes wrong on the day of the event. We start our broadcast this evening with that report brought to you by Hassan Mugambi. Six days to go and it is time to polish rough edges, if any, in the tri-service parade that will mount the guard of honor that will be inspected by both the outgoing and the incoming commanders-in-chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. The parade, among other things, will seek to estimate the amount of time that will be taken by the next Commander-in-Chief, President-elect William Ruto, to inspect it. The step to the beat of President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has done it for the last 10 years, is already too familiar to the band. I, William Samuel Ruto, in full realization... Rehearsals from the march to the oath of both President-elect Ruto and his deputy Rigadi Gashagwa were administered in the dress rehearsal. We may not be able to bring the President-elect over here for the rehearsal, but uh, a select number of people will go to his residence and do a simulation. The change of guard ceremony to be led by the Chief of Defense Forces, where Ruto will be handed the instruments of power, was also rehearsed. Wasingishu woman representative and head of delegation representing President-elect in the Assumption of Office Committee, Gladys Boss Cholet, detailing what is expected. There will be the swearing-in of the, of the President-elect as President, and then after that, the Deputy President is also sworn in, and then after that, the instruments of power are handed over to the incoming president by the pre outgoing president. Kenyatta's presidential standard, this navy blue flag that signifies the presence of the head of state, will be lowered and handed to him as that of President Ruto is hoisted to indicate a change of guard. We are yet to know its look and feel. And I know that a sketch is being presented today uh, to the president-elect so that he has a choice from what to choose from. From uh, Already his ideas were recorded, uh, put down in, in picture and color, and so he will choose it. They march out of the stadium in one of many rounds of full dress rehearsals. They will do it again and again to ensure each of the men and women in uniform understands exactly what is expected of them. With the stage being set up, the 60,000 capacity stadium remains under 24-hour GSU guard. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.